All persons having business before this honourable court, I command you to give their attendance and it shall be heard. God save the Queen. Be seated, please. Applications for the admission of lawyers. <coughs> Ms. Rhiannon Louise Abondio. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Rhiannon Louise Abondio be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court. And I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms. Abondio in court? Ms. Kimberly Elaine Aitken. The court pleases, I appear to move that Kimberly Elaine Aitken be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move upon the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Aitken in court? Mr Vladimir Alexander Bertrand. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Vladimir Alexander Bertrand be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Mr Bertrand in court? Ms Jennifer Ann Joan Bolger. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Jennifer Ann Joan Bolger be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Bolger in court? Ms Jessica Rose Burke. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Jessica Rose Burke be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Burke <coughs> in court? Ms Melissa Marie Bruno. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Melissa Marie Bruno be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move upon the certificate and recommendation of the admission board. Is Ms Bruno in court? Ms Amy Bush. The court pleases, I appear to move that Amy Bush be admitted legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Bush in court? Ms Helen Nicole Christen. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Helen Nicole Christen be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Christen in court? Mr Killian Donohoe. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Killian Donohoe be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and, an, and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Mr Donohoe in court? Is Danielle Patricia Gorman. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Danielle Patricia Gorman be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Gorman in court? Ms Simone Jane Grace. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Simone Jane Grace be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Grace in court? Mr Jason John Locking. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Jason John Locking be admitted to the legal profession as a, an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Mr Locking in court? Ms Lauren Marie Moore. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Lauren Marie Moore be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Moore in court? Mrs Rima Panaligan. 
If the court pleases, I appear to move that Rima Panaligan be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court. And I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Mrs Panaligan in court? Ms Kimberly Stacey Parker. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Kimberly Stacey Parker be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Parker in court? Ms Grace Marie Pisano. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Grace Marie Pisano be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Pisano in court? Ms Marie Antoinette Pizzaia. <coughs> if the court pleases, I appear to move that Marie Antoinette Pizzaia be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Pizzaia in court? Ms Milika Plavsic. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Melissa Plavsic be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Plavsic in court? Mr Shane Benjamin Robertson. If the court pleases, I appear on behalf of... I move that Shane Benjamin Robertson be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Mr. Robertson in court? Ms. Stephanie Lee Rocker. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Stephanie Lee Rocker be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian <laughs> lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms. Rocker in court? Ms. Rebecca Suka. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Rebecca Suka be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer <coughs> and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms. Suka in court? Ms. Samantha Jane Tasic. Court pleases, I appear to move that Samantha Jane Tassich be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Tassich in court? <coughs> Ms Cassandra Rose Taylor. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Cassandra Rose Taylor be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Taylor in court? Ms Michelle Louise Teresiak. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Michelle Louise Teresiak be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Teresiak in court? Ms Stephanie Vipond. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Stephanie Alice Vipond be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of the honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Vipond in court? Mr Harrison Jack Wall. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Harrison Jack Wall be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Mr Wall in court? <coughs> Ms Janice Tzu Yen Yu. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Janice Su Yen Yu be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Yu in court? Ms Joanna Dalal Zuki. 
if the court pleases, I appear to move that my niece, Joanna Delalzuki, to be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move upon the certificate and recommendation of the admission board. Is Ms. Suki in court? Ms. Jennifer Jane Amy. If it pleases the court, I appear to move that Jennifer Jane Amy be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms. Amy in court? Mr. Noah Bender Bennett. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Noah Bender Bennett be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Mr. Bender Bennett in court? Ms. Sophie Francesca Bolsonello. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Sophie Francesca Bolzanello be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms. Bolzanello in court? Ms. Andrea Kathleen Bunn. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Andrea Kathleen Bunn be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and the re recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Bunn in court? Mr Mark Nathan Burrows. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Mark Nathan Burrows be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Mr. Burrows in court? Ms. Elizabeth Nara Colliver. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Elizabeth Nara Colliver be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move upon the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms. Colliver in court? Ms. Sarah Ann Crossman. If the court pleases, I appear to move Sarah Ann Crossman to be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certific certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms. Crossman in court? Ms. Tarishi Dilip Desai. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Tarishi Dilip Desai be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Mr Desai in court? Mr Simon Mark Disney. <coughs> if the court pleases, I appear to move that Simon Mark Disney be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Mr. Disney in court? Ms. Isabel Emily Feben. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Isabel Emily Feben be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms. Feben in court? Mr. Triu Te Huang. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Tru Te Huang be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move upon the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Mr. Huang in court? <coughs> Mr. Hal Hussaini. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Zohal Husseini be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I move and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms. Husseini in court? Ms. Raminda Johal. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Raminda Jahal be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admission board. Is Ms Jahal in court? 
Ms. Francesca Sequan Lai. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Francesca Sequan Lai be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms. Lai in court? <coughs> Ms. Kristen Lalitas. If the court please, pleases, I appear to move that Kristen Lalitas be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms. Lalitas in court? Ms. Caroline Monks. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Caroline Monks be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms. Monks in court? <coughs> Mr. David Payne Mummery. If the court pleases, I appear to move that David Payne Mummery be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Mr. Mummery in court? Ms. Edwina Catherine Meyer. If the court pleases, I appear with my learned junior, Mr. Merrick, to move that Edwina Catherine Meyer be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and we so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms. Meyer in court? Ms. Marinda Christiana Peterson. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Marinda Christiana Peterson be admitted to, to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and an officer of this honourable court. And I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms. Peterson in court? <coughs> Ms. Claire Bronwyn Peary. The court pleases, I appear to move that Claire Bronwyn Peary be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court. And I so move upon the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms. Peary in court? <coughs> Mr. Elliot Aubrey Roberts. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Elliot Aubrey Roberts be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and an officer of this honourable court. And I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Mr. Roberts in court? Ms. Janika Anil Rupani. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Dinika Anil Rupani be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court. And I do so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms. Rupani in court? Ms. Nicole Stobart. <coughs> if the court pleases, I appear to move that Nicole Stobart be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms. Stobart in court? Ms. Jessica Kimberly Stokowski. The court please I appear to move that Jessica Kimberly Stoikowski be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move upon the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Stoikowski in court? Ms Cara Monique Thompson. If it pleases this honourable court, I appear to move that Cara Monique Thompson be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court. And I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Thompson in court? Ms Malia Underhill. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Malia Underhill be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and an officer of this honourable court. And I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Underhill in court? Mr Saul Wakeman. 
If the court pleases, I appear to move that Saul Wakeman be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Mr Wakeman in court? Ms Alexandra Louise Yorston. If the court pleases, I appear to move that Alexandra Louise Yorston be admitted to the legal profession as an Australian lawyer and as an officer of this honourable court, and I so move on the certificate and recommendation of the admissions board. Is Ms Yorston in court? The candidates will now take their oath or affirmation of office. Ladies and gentlemen in the public galleries are reminded to remain seated during this time. Ladies and gentlemen being sworn, as I call your name, please stand and remain standing. Ms Abondio, Ms Aitken, Mr Bertrand, Ms Bolger, Ms Burke, Ms Bruno, Ms Bush, Ms Kristen, Mr Donohoe, Ms Gorman, Ms Grace, Mr Locking, Ms Moore, Mrs Panaligan, Ms Parker, Ms Pisano, Ms Pizzaia, Ms Plavsic, Mr Robertson, Ms Rocker, Ms Suka, Ms Tasic, Ms Taylor, Ms Teresiak, Ms. Vipond, Mr. Wall, Ms. Yu, Ms. Zuki. I now ask you to take the oath of office. Please hold your religious text in your uplifted right hand. You and each of you swear by Almighty God that you will well and honestly conduct yourselves in the practice of your profession as members of the legal profession and officers of this honourable court to the best of your knowledge and ability. Beginning with you, madam, please repeat in turn, I swear by Almighty God to do so. 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 Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please resume your seats. Ladies and gentlemen, taking the affirmation, as I call your name, please stand and remain standing. Ms. Amy, Mr. Bender Bennett, Ms. Bolsonello, Ms. Bunn, Mr. Burrows, Ms. Colliver, Ms. Crossman, Ms. Desai, Mr. Disney, Ms. Theban, Mr. Huang, Ms. Hussaini, Ms. Johal, Ms. Lai, Ms. Lolitas, Ms. Monks, Mr. Mummery, Ms. Meyer, Ms. Peterson, Ms. Piri, Mr. Roberts, Ms. Rupani, Ms. Stobart, Ms. Dokovsky, Ms. Thompson, Ms. Underhill, Mr. Wakeman, and Ms. Yorston. I now ask you to make your affirmation of office. You and each of you solemnly and sincerely and truly declare and affirm that you will well and honestly conduct yourselves in the practice of your profession as members of the legal profession and officers of this honourable court to the best of your knowledge and ability. Beginning with you, Madam, please repeat in turn, I do so declare and affirm. 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 Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please resume your seats.
The court acknowledges the original Indigenous owners of the land where we sit today, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, and pay our respects to their elders of the past and of the present. The court also acknowledges the distinguished presence in course today of His Honour Judge Parsons of the County Court of Victoria and their honours Justices Macmillan and Johns of the Family Court of Australia. The court is satisfied that each applicant has met the requirements for admission. An order will be made for each applicant to be appointed an Australian lawyer and an officer of the Supreme Court of Victoria. I will now address my remarks for a few moments to the new lawyers. There are five matters I want to tell you about, essential things for a modern lawyer to know. First, the current legal market is highly competitive and demanding and at times exploitative. To be employable as a lawyer, you will need to be alert, conscientious, a good thinker and a good team collaborator. If working already in a law office and you demonstrate these attributes, you should do well. If you are not working but aspire to employment as a lawyer, the key is how to make yourself different so you stand out in a crowded field. So I move to my second point, pro bono work. It is an excellent way to gain experience but simultaneously contribute to the administration of justice especially now you are an Australian lawyer. The courts daily face many individuals in criminal and civil cases who need help but do not have legal representation. Those individuals' liberty, livelihood, home and human rights might be at stake. Then there are all the community legal centres who would welcome volunteer lawyers. Relevantly, Law firms are very interested in those candidates who display intellectual ability combined with practical experience. Thirdly, no matter what you do in the law, always protect your reputation and integrity. A lawyer has no more valuable asset. If you have a reputation for decency, honesty and ethical standard, you will be admired and respected by all who deal with you no matter how strong, strident or tough you may be in representing your client's interests. Ultimately, as a lawyer, you now have a paramount duty to the court to ensure this court and any court you encounter is informed of what it must know. This principle is underpinned by the very integrity I have just raised. Fourthly, a very, very important matter and I would ask that you listen carefully. I raise your physical and mental health and well-being. The legal profession has one of the highest rates of depression among professions. This phenomenon is attributable to factors including that lawyers are generally high achievers and work extremely hard. A very important speech was given a while ago by Her Honour Associate Justice Iridi Akono of this court on the very topic. It is on the Supreme Court website. I urge you to read and reflect on it. All lawyers should. Judges certainly are. It is full of excellent tips on how to look after yourself and the lawyers you work with. As you work in the law, there will be times when it will be difficult and it will be challenging for your physical and mental health. Always know there is someone you can turn to. Fifthly, the law is a serious profession. That said, it is immensely rewarding. There are lots of opportunities, so think laterally and take pleasure in helping people and protecting their rights and, importantly, the rule of law. Now, a good advocate before a court always summarises. So, one, be employable. Two, seek out pro bono work. Three, be a person of integrity. Four, protect your health. Five, be a lateral thinker. Those are my remarks to the new lawyers this morning, other than to say on behalf of the court our congratulations on your magnificent achievement. You should feel justifiably <coughs> proud. Today is a special day for family, 
friends, principals and teachers who have brought the new lawyers to this very point. And so today I say to those who have come to the court, you are very welcome and you have a new lawyer in your family or friendship circle. After the court rises and they attend to their official duty of signing the Supreme Court roll, ask them to take you on a tour of this extraordinary palace of justice. It is one of the gems of Victorian architecture. Again, the court extends its warm congratulations to the new lawyers and all of those who have helped them to come to this position today. We wish the new lawyers well in all that lies ahead. One final matter. Last Tuesday, 12 April 2016, marked the 175th anniversary of the first sitting of the Supreme Court in this district. 175 years since 1841 of the delivery of justice. The main order of business on that first sitting day was the admission of 19 lawyers, including four barristers. Hence today, the new lawyers retrace history and become part of history. To mark the occasion, the Supreme Court is giving to each new lawyer a copy of an anniversary history, judging for the people. I now produce Exhibit A to the court. <laughs> the book will be presented to each new lawyer upon signing the roll after the court rises. The gift will mark each new lawyer's admission to the legal profession. To all present today, I extend an invitation to view the Supreme Court building from William Street each evening between 6.30 and 11 p.m. as we illuminate our history and light up the court in a way to mark our anniversary. The court will now adjourn. Thank you.